New Weapons Channel. Today we compare the US and Chinese navies. Earlier, the Federation of American Scientists, FAS for short, published a report titled, China's Naval Modernization, Implications for the US Navy. The Chinese Navy is seen as a serious challenge to the ability of the US Navy to secure and maintain control over the Western Pacific. This is the first time the US has faced such a challenge. China's efforts to modernize the Navy include a wide range of programs to acquire ships, aircraft, and weapons, as well as improvements in logistics, maintenance, personnel quality, training, and combat and operational training activities. China's Navy is by far the largest of any country in East Asia, and over the past several years it has surpassed even the US Navy in the number of warships. By the end of 2020, China had 333 warships, the US had 296. China is projected to have 400 warships by 2025 and 425 by 2030. China's ships, aircraft, weapons and military equipment are much more modern and combat ready than they were in the early 1990s, and in many respects are now comparable with those of the navies of advanced countries. Washington has taken a number of steps in recent years to counter China's efforts to modernize its navy. The US Navy has moved most of its fleet to the Pacific Ocean, sending its most combat-ready new ships, aircraft and the best personnel there. In addition, the US maintains or strengthens cooperation and collaboration with allied and other navies in the Indo-Pacific region. The US Navy has also begun to develop new operational concepts, e.g., new ways of using the Navy and Marine Corps to counter the Chinese Navy. The relative naval capabilities of the United States and China are sometimes assessed by comparing the number of US and Chinese ships. Although the total number of ships in the fleet, or the total tonnage of the fleet, is relatively easy to calculate, it is a one-dimensional measure that does not take into account the many other factors that affect a fleet's capabilities and how those capabilities relate to its assigned missions. That said, China is on track to overtake the United States as the most powerful military force in the Pacific within a decade perhaps as early as 2026. Against the backdrop of China's rampant naval construction, it is useful to assess the combat and operational capabilities of China's neighboring Russian Pacific Fleet. Nearly all the ships and boats in the Pacific Fleet were built back in the Soviet era and are, in fact, still in service. The number of modern units in the combat strength is not even worthy of a flotilla. Thus, the main battle in the Pacific will take place between the naval forces of China and the United States. Everything about the Seahawk, the US Navy's unmanned robot submarine hunter, can be seen at the link, see you on the channel.